found nine companies that are always hiring entry-level remote jobs. So if you're the type of person who wants to work from home, you need to watch this video until the end because we're not just gonna be telling you the companies, but we're also gonna be talking about some of the jobs that they often hire for. And I'm gonna be giving you examples of exact job postings that you can actually apply for today. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it with the number one company on the list, which is going to be ACC Premier. And this is a company that focuses on high touch customer support and value added services. So as you can see here on their main page, they say that ACC Premier does advanced CX services, which stands for customer support, and they are caring for the world's most trusted brands. So some of the clients that they've worked with would be Del Monte Foods, as well as Johnson & Johnson. So massive companies. And here are the states they hire in. So they actually do hire in most states. And most of the jobs they typically hire for are customer service related, which doesn't surprise anybody. So they've got remote customer service representative, remote customer service representative. They've got a Wisconsin patient transportation coordinator, but that's also a remote job. Then they've got a customer support specialist, which is remote. Then they've got a Missouri patient transportation coordinator, which is remote. And they've got a Wisconsin patient transportation coordinator, which is also remote. So let's look at the salaries of some of these jobs. So remote customer service representative, they typically make 36 to 47 thousand dollars a year. Patient transport coordinators make about 44 to 63 thousand dollars a year, so a little bit more. And customer support specialists make about 42 to 58 thousand dollars a year. And by the way, I know a lot of people are not excited about potentially getting into a job that pays 35 to 49 thousand dollars a year. You know, customer service representative of the remote variety. But with that being said, there are a lot of opportunities down the line. So a mid-level customer service supervisor would make about 52 to 79 thousand dollars a year. So that's more. And then a customer service manager makes 64 to 108 thousand dollars a year. So that's even more. So you can get into career paths and jobs that do pay better. And it's honestly one of the easiest jobs to get if you're just trying to get your first remote job and get your foot in the door. So it's not a bad place to start. With that being said, there are a lot of downsides to working in customer service. You do have to deal with angry people and Karens all day. And depending on the place you work for, it can be somewhat stressful. But with that being said, I still think this is a pretty good opportunity. I'm going to give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next, let's talk about the company Big Time. And the website is bigtime.gg. And Big Time is basically a combination of an online game mixed with the metaverse and blockchain. And their team consists of people who have contributed to other famous games. Games like Fortnite, Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, and Overwatch. And some jobs that they typically hire for are going to be streamer manager and social media manager. Now, streamer managers obviously manage streamers and they manage the act of streaming, which is basically where you stream video live. And this could be done on platforms such as YouTube or Twitch. And streamer managers make about 71 to 132 thousand dollars a year. Then you've got social media manager interns and they make about 38 to 64 thousand dollars a year. And you might even move into a role such as senior streamer manager and they make 118 to 205 thousand dollars a year. And eventually you could even become a marketing director and they make 118 to 221 thousand dollars a year. So as you can see, you can make some pretty good money right off the bat. And you've also got other roles that you could potentially move into once you've built up your skill set. So this one is very interesting. If you're into cryptocurrency, blockchain, the metaverse, that type of thing, or if you're just into video video games in the gaming industry, this could be a really good option for you. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be Sedgwick. So they say that taking care of people is at the heart of everything we do. And this is basically a mother company that actually owns a bunch of other companies such as EFI Global, J&D Legal Administration, Sedgwick Managed Care Ohio, Sedgwick Government Solutions, Vail Training, Direct Health Solutions, Sedgwick Alliance, and CareWorks. But what they're really known for is being a leader in claims management, loss adjusting, and technology-enabled business solutions. They've also won a ton of different awards, and they have really good ratings on sites like Glassdoor from their current or former employees. And some of the jobs they typically hire for are going to be claims representative and intake associates. So claims representatives make about forty-five to $65,000 a year, and they basically are going to be the people who process different insurance claims. Then intake associates make about forty-two dollars to $59,000 a year, and oftentimes they're actually the people who intake the new customers. And then claims associates make about forty to $57,000 a year, and they help with claims as well. So overall, they hire for a lot of insurance-related jobs, and they pay relatively well too, especially for the fact that it's an entry-level role and it's relatively easy to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be New Full 
Bold Digital. And they're basically a leading web presence solutions provider serving millions of small to medium sized businesses globally. And they basically own a bunch of different website related companies such as Bluehost, Crazy Domains, HostGator, Network Solutions, Register.com, Web.com, and many others. And some of these solutions that they provide are domains, do-it-yourself website builders, hosting, security, online marketing, professional website design, SEO services, and customer support. Now they do hire worldwide and they hire remote. And some of the positions they often hire for are going to be outbound sales specialist, inbound sales consultant, design and marketing sales consultant, and cybersecurity sales specialist. So outbound sales specialist, that's pretty obvious what they do. They basically go outbound, so they cold call people or something along those lines. They make about sixty-three dollars to $103,000 a year. Inbound sales representatives, they actually take inbound calls. They make about fifty dollars to $78,000 a year. Design and marketing sales consultants make about seventy-six dollars to $138,000 a year. And cybersecurity sales specialists make about ninety-five dollars to $168,000 a year. So lots of different jobs that make really good money that they're hiring for. And the reason so many people are hiring cybersecurity specialists and cybersecurity sales specialists is because the cost of a single cybersecurity breach in the United States on average is about $9.44 million. So yeah, they're gonna hire cybersecurity specialists and pay them whatever they want, six figures a year, in order to save $9.44 million every single breach. And there's also lots of really good sales-related certificates and training. My favorite one comes from Course Careers and they really help you get into sales and specifically sales in the technology industry. And that's one of the most lucrative and easiest types of sales to get into. And they actually do have a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. And I highly recommend checking it out. A bunch of other people have checked it out on the channel and they've been able to get jobs and I've actually interviewed them. My on-target earning is $207,000 this year in my current position. It's, I get paid out twice a month and, and the commission is, is basically whatever I close in revenue this month, I get paid out in two months. So there's not an exact number of this is exactly what I'm making because it fluctuates. But at the end of the year, I anticipate to make well over $200,000 at age 26. Speaking of course careers, they're actually hiring as well. And they're going to be next on the list. They're hiring a Instagram content creator, social media content creator, social media influencer, and a TikTok content creator. Now they're showing Instagram content creators making about $100 to $200 per hour. Social media content creators making about $100 to $200 per hour. Social media influencers making $100 to $200 per hour. And TikTok content creators creators making $100 to $200 per hour as well. And from my understanding, a lot of it has to do with bonuses. So yeah, definitely a great company. Uh, they also have super, super good reviews online, both on Trustpilot as well as Glassdoor from former employees. So yeah, really good. Definitely check them out. And there's also the free training down in the description in the pinned comment below. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now they're one of the companies that I actually partnered with and I promote. And that's one of the main reasons why I've been able to make this whole content creation thing into a full-time gig where I make really, really good money from it. And on top of that, I've actually helped a bunch of other people do the exact same thing. And if you want to know exactly how I did that, I will be having a live training, which will be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And you can check in the description and the pinned comment below to access that. Additionally, there's some excellent free training, which will help you. It's literally better than paid training out there, which I'll also put down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is Enterprise Mobility. And their goal is to advance the world one journey at a time. And the way they do that is by creating better experiences for how the world moves. And basically they own a portfolio of companies that are all related to travel or movement. And this includes rental companies, fleet management, flexible vehicle hire, car sharing, van pooling, car sales, truck rental, vehicle subscription, luxury rental, and technology solutions. And they have really good ratings on Glassdoor from former employees. Now some of the jobs they hire for are going to be automotive service advisor and automotive maintenance coordinator. And automotive service providers make about fifty-eight dollars to $95,000 a year. And automotive maintenance coordinators make about fifty one to seventy six thousand dollars a year and as a automotive maintenance coordinator you would provide technical support and advice for automotive maintenance review repair orders negotiate services pricing and ensure proper services are performed for fleet management and it's kind of like being a doctor for a fleet of cars making sure they get the right checkups and treatments at the right time so yeah another really good one especially good if you're someone who has a bit of knowledge about cars and maintenance i'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be conduit and this 
this is a BPO or business process outsourcing company. And this is basically where they perform certain services for businesses so that the businesses don't have to have in-house employees do them. And they're recognized as a leader in customer experience services, a leader in healthcare, and a leader in HR services. And nine out of the 10 top US health plans actually use them, four out of the five top global automakers, six out of the 10 top US banks, seven out of the 10 top pharma companies, there's businesses in 47 different states that are served by Conduent, and there's 600 plus government entities that use Conduent. And to kind of translate what they do, a lot of the time they'll actually hire foreign people, right? So people outside the United States to do many of these processes. But in many cases, for many types of positions, they have to hire inside the US as well. And they've received a ton of different awards, plus they have really good employee ratings on Glassdoor. So we always try to make sure we choose companies that have really good ratings from employees because we want you to have a good experience if you're actually hired by them. And some of the jobs they typically hire for are going to be data entry associate, data entry operator, and remote customer service. And data entry associates typically make thirty-five to forty-eight thousand dollars a year. Data entry operators make thirty-seven to fifty-four thousand dollars a year, and remote customer service makes thirty-six to fifty-three thousand dollars a year. So these aren't the highest-paying jobs, but with that being said, they are easier jobs to land. So it's a good way to get your foot in the door working a remote job. Then you can find a better one down the line. So overall, I really like this one. The jobs aren't the best, but I'll give it a seven out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be Rocket Money, and basically what they are is they are a financial service and budgeting app, and their mission is to empower people to live their best financial lives, and they offer a suite of valuable financial services in order to do that. And they also have a lot of different awards. A lot of them are employee related, and they have pretty good scores on Glassdoor. So some of the jobs they're hiring for are customer support associate, customer relationship manager, and product manager. Customer support associates make about forty-four to sixty-three thousand dollars a year. Customer relationship managers make about seventy-five to one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars a year, and product managers make about one hundred five to one hundred ninety thousand dollars a year. So these can be some really high paying jobs. Obviously, the customer support associate would be the entry level position that you'd go into. But it's good to know that they're hiring for some really good jobs that are really high paying down the line as well. So yeah, pretty good one. It seems like a great company as well. I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be underdog fantasy. And you might have actually seen this company on a sponsorship or on YouTube before. And this is an app where you can basically play fantasy sports, they hire in a bunch of different states, you can just check to see if your state is on this list. And they have great employee reviews on Glassdoor. Some of the jobs they typically hire for are going to be customer support associate and product operations associate. And customer support associates make $44 to $63,000 a year. And product operations associates make $68 to $115,000 a year. So yeah, some really good opportunities here as well. However, they still do have the customer support associate job that's available. These are a little bit less entry level. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. And if you want to work from home worldwide, you can definitely check out this video because that's exactly what I talk about there. So go ahead and click on it.